All right, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about part two of the county clerk, court office, and the Texas Secretary of State and the U.S. Treasury are the most powerful office in the United States of American Republican land and your state. Now, we're going to repeat this again. Remember this. The county clerk, court office, your state secretary of where you live at, and the U.S. Treasury are the most powerful office in the United States of American Republican land and your state. Now we're gonna see why is that. Here we go. The county clerk office, your state secretary uh, office. The U.S. Treasury or the what? Enforcer of what? Alien property custodian, general public. I mean, yeah, general. I mean, yeah, general power and duty. A.K. the guardian and the gatekeeper of what? Gatekeeper of what? The U.S. Constitution of Article Four, Section One, and Section Two, and Section Four in your county your state and the country. Now we're going to understand why. Again, you have to repeat what I have to say. The county clerk often court in office in your state, your state secretary office, the U.S. Treasurer or the what? Enforcer of the what? Alien property custodian general power and the what? Duty, a.k.a. The guardian and gatekeeper of the Constitution of Article 4, Section 1, and Section 2, and Section 4 in your county and state and country. Now, we're going to understand this real quick. Now, this might not be a little bit longer, but it might be a little bit sharp. I'm going to make it a little bit sweet for you so you can understand what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Now, right here, the county clerk office is the deed, the recorded, the mortgage, and the conveyor office. All right, the reason why I say that, they have jurisdiction over what? County, uh, county small claim court, include traffic court, divorce court, juvenile court, whatever. Misdemeanor charge, state felony charge, election, um, local, state, and national. Real estate property like the Skyride Building, Million Dollar Mansion, the Mall, Hospital, Ghetto Neighborhood, Slump Neighborhood, Rural Area, that's Undercovered, Mega City. See, like a Mega City in your county, like Los Angeles, a Mega City, right? And you got a second Mega City. It'd be Long Beach, located in what? Los Angeles County. Then you got the third largest city. It would be uh, Pasadena, located in what? Uh, Los Angeles County. So something like that. See what I'm saying? Uh, real estate property. Shit like that. Road, interstate, and highway bridge. That's right. Traffic light and all that stuff. Trust, institution, hospital, university, private hospital, public hospital, you name it. They have jurisdiction over that. Deeds of trust, all that stuff. State court, like felony court, but they, they charge with felony on state side. Uh, bail bond, Bail bond, bond, arrest, and conviction. Yet, the county clerk court have jurisdiction over there. Always remember that. And what? Town, small, big city, and unincorporated city or town. That county clerk got jurisdiction over there. The county clerk got jurisdiction over what? The sheriff department, the city police department, the state police department. Now, the reason why they got jurisdiction over them uh, these three agencies located inside the county, because if they make an arrest or write a ticket, it had to be recorded with the clerk office. It had to be. Because why? They are what? The general power and they the alien custodian. Cause I say the alien property custodian of all record. That's right. They have a duty to keep track. Cause to what? Article 1, right here. 
I mean, Article 4, Section 1. Always remember that Article Article 4, Section 1 is what they get their power at right here. Because remember this, they always what? Proceed. Hear that special word. When you hear that word say proceed, it means proceed to have what? The record, information about you. The rest, the charge. Everything had to go to that clerk office. All right, here we go, right here. It say what? It may be a free center, uh, center to prison, being free from prison, uh, death center or death row. You see right here? That clerk had jurisdiction over that. Whether that person found guilty or not, that clerk had jurisdiction, jurisdiction over that person. Whether that person going to either be on probation, parole, that clerk have jurisdiction over that person, including probation, parole. They cannot go in that county and put you on probation parole without that county clerk to call the office and that clerk. All right, here you go again. Probation, parole, drug treatment, alcohol treatment, anguish management, whatever you want to call it, halfway high, work relief. They got jurisdiction over that. See that? They have jurisdiction over that. Fingerprint, photo, mud shot. Again, fingerprint, mud shot. When you go to a police station, be interrogated, Ask question and all that stuff. They have jurisdiction over that. Police had the police had you know police got to hand that over there or else. Or else, you know, you could do a motion of discovery and you had the whole case dismissed. I mean you got the whole case dismissed again. And go down some more. Well this I mean, you know, well the clerk uh have jurisdiction over. Oh, there we go. The clerk have jurisdiction over what? All type of lien. Ain't judgment. That's right. That county clerk and that clerk office have jurisdiction over any lien or judgment or garnishment, whatever you want to call it. And they have what jurisdiction or federal arrest. That's right. If it if the FBI into that county, I don't care what city or town you in. If he's there for in that county, that clerk better know about it. That sheriff oh, better know about it. You see what I'm saying? That be a you know what I'm saying? Look, that better be a federal arrest warrant. A lot of people don't realize. That that called a federal arrest warrant, that's a federal warranty, a federal search warranty, a federal affidavit for arrest, or they had to be filed at the clerk office. A lot of people don't realize that, but it had to be filed at your uh, county clerk office. Want they uh, FBI, ATF, step foot in your county and handcuff you in your county and send you off to another county or another state? Guess what? It better be there. It better be there, man. It better be there at the county clerk recorded office or else you can have the whole felony charge drop. Here you go. They have jurisdiction or what? City court and city law. In other words, your city inside they have their own court inside that county and you know have what we call local law, you know, like city ordinance law, you know, like a law like that. That kind of clerk got jurisdiction over that city court, court regardless. You know what I'm saying? They got jurisdiction over the city hall, the city councilor, the mayor. They have more power than them. So, so no, they're not above the county. The county above them. And here we go. County law. The county clerk got jurisdiction over any law that passed by the county commission. You know what I'm saying? Because why? It had to go to their courtroom. You know, so. I look at this right here. Local trust and HCC Charter. Local Trust and HCC Charter. Now, what that mean when I say that? Uh, how about, you know, how about uh, uh, IRS office located in your county? That's a charter. You know what I'm saying? How about City Park? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Public building. Everything that's local is with the county clerk. HC Charter. I say like a police located in your county. That's the HC Charter. I say like a state highway patrol located in your county. That's the HC Charter. That charter should be there. You know what I'm saying? That charter should be there, regardless. That charter should be there. Department of Transportation. You know what I'm saying? It should be there. Um, so, so if you see that, that county clerk got jurisdiction. And how about right here? Public of uh, public official uh, oak and public bond. Meaning, in other words, if they've been 
elected in that county, whether it's a mayor, a city council, a commissioner, whatever, they, they've been elected to a judge, or they've been appointed, say like a state trooper, they've been appointed to serve your county, or say like a, a DMV, they got a DMV office, right? It, it, you know what I'm saying? In your county, everybody get ID license. Well, if they've been pointed, guess what? They must too have a public bond, a, a bond. You know what I'm saying? They cannot just uh, tell you what the law is without a bond. They cannot make arrest with, with either way out you with the bond. So, no way, you can always catch that at the what? The county clerk recording office. Not the city police bond. City police bond will be at your financial department. Say, like in New Orleans, where I'm from, New Orleans, uh, New Orleans Louisiana. Now the New Orleans Police Bond would be at the financial department. And the Orleans Sheriff would be at the county clerk office. See what I'm saying? They say like in uh New York City, right? You got the New York Police Department, right? Where where to go after they bond and oh, I would have to go to the financial department, go after them. A lot of people don't realize that. Like in Chicago, I would have to go up to the con controller or the financial department to go at the uh, Chicago police, not the uh, Cook County. The Cook County uh, share that's located in, in uh, where, where, where Chicago located at, I would have to go to the county clerk for the Cook County Sheriff Deputy. Like for Los Angeles Police Department and the LA Sheriff Deputy, now for the uh, Los Angeles Police Department, I would have to go to the Financial Department go after the police. You know what I'm saying? For the Police Department. The, uh, the LA County Sheriff, I would have to go to the county clerk for calling off and go after them. Now you see, again, counter clerk. Now, now everything has to be recorded at that clerk from this part right here. See all this right here? Everything has to be recorded what that county clerk recorded often. At the end of the month, guess what? County clerk got to go to what? See all the documents, all the transcript to who? Your state secretary, or like Texas, where I live at, guess what? Everything from the county clerk office right here, everything at the end of the month had to go to this right here, the state secretary office. Now, let's see what the state secretary office power is. All right, state secretary office power is what? Constitution jurisdiction over who? All county record, statewide, meaning no way they have jurisdiction over all the county clerk recording office. Everything from that, from the office where you live at in that county, that clerk had to record everything back to the state secretary, including jail, arrest, conviction, death center, property sale, house sale, lien, whatever. They got to do all that. Uh, here we go. Second one, here you go. All county elections, federal, statewide, local too, you know what I'm saying? They have jurisdiction over all that. Everything from your local had to go to that state, to the state capital, right here. There we go. All shared, uh, all shared office is on that uh, state secretary jurisdiction. All state sheriff office, even state, state police is under that jurisdiction. I ain't put it on that, but it's under that jurisdiction. That means in your state too. All right, here we go. All registered business and foreign business charter. Now, when I say that. That means the Department of, uh, 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 of Revenue, uh, all city hall, uh, all city councilor, DMV, health department, road construction, you name it. Any public government, federal government too, they all had to uh, 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 register with the state secretary office. Whether it's federal, state, or local, they had to register. You see what I'm saying? They had to register with that state of, of, of Texas. It's like your state, they had to register with that. All right, here we go. All AC charter, public charter bond. That's right, all agency, including hospital, university, they all have to register with the uh, with these people at the state secretary office. Here we go, all city, county, and state, federal, and, uh, and not elected, party, uh, appointed official oh and public bond no word no word if an F, you know what I'm saying if an FBI a federal judge or a federal prosecutor live in that county you know what I'm saying if they live in that county where you at but also inside of the state that you live in 
All this had to be located at the state secretary office. You see what I'm saying? If ATL live in there or the Border Patrol live inside that, uh, you know, in your county, you always can find out right there from the state secretary office. And state secretary office must hand it over to you. Even if you get arrested in your county by a federal agent, that's, that's uh, state secretary know about it and the governor know about it. They had to sign off on that. They had to sign off, include the, uh, the attorney general. They had to sign on that. I can tell you how to get that shit. Mm -hmm. I can tell you how to go to court do it. All right, here we go, right here. Uh, the light kind of blurry, hold up for a minute. I'm gonna cut the lights off. All right, here we go. Right here, it say what, hold up. Let me see something, hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, you know, get rid of that blur light on that real quick, hold up. All right, here we go. That ain't much better now. All right, here we go. Right here. It said all law passed by the state legislature must be what? Certified by the state secretary of office. No way by Texas. Secretary of State offer to be what? To be what? Proved before it become law of the land in Texas. Now, a lot of people don't realize this. When when the House or the Senate uh, bring a bill to the floor, did you know that the law must be first must be uh, first uh, approved by the state secretary of to make sure they don't violate what uh, constitution law? You see what I'm saying? Every state has that. The, the secretary must first see if that law gonna violate. You see what I'm saying? They have to check first before that law becomes law of the land in your state. It's like. Uh, Illinois passing all these crazy laws taking away your gun right. Well, guess who proven that? Illinois State Secretary Office. Like California. California State Secretary Office proving all these so-called crazy ass gun laws being passed, but instead of protecting your right, they make sure your right being taken away. You see how powerful the State Secretary Office is? A lot of people don't realize this. But the State Secretary Office had to certify these laws. Even though the government signed the law, but the, at the at the secretary who certified it. Remember they, they certified election, they certified city charter, they certified uh, uh, unelected agency charter like DMV, the uh, health department of the state. You see what I'm saying? All, such, 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 you know what I'm saying? They certify all these, like the state trooper, you know what I'm saying, to enforce Texas law, statewide Texas, they had to certify they, you know, certify them as legit. See what I said they had to certify that. It's like the law. All bill that come out of the House floor and the Senate floor in Texas. It had to be certified by the state secretary of your state the same way like Texas. Louisiana went up front, it's the same way. California, the same way. Georgia, Mississippi, the same way. The state secretary of had to certify these laws. So now you know. You know what I'm saying? So all these so-called wonderful laws, they're gonna be passed and signed by the government. It better be certified. It better be certified. And also it better pass the Constitution. You know what I'm saying? Muster. You know what I'm saying? They don't violate the Constitution. All these goddamn law they pass is sure getting overturned. Because guess what? They sure violate Second Amendment, right? They sure violate freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? Sure, they sure, I mean, they sure violate a whole lot of law. All right, let's look at this right here. It says certified all election in Texas. From local to state and federal, like the U.S. House race, the U.S. Senate race, things like that, the president race, they certify all elections. That's right, they certify all elections. It's like they both certify the law that becomes the law of the land of Texas before it's signed by the governor of Texas. You know what I'm saying? So they supposed to do all that. And here we go. They have jurisdiction over what? Unelected agency department. Unelected agency department, like the state. State Revenue Department, Texas. Louisiana got a revenue department, unelected. Louisiana got a uh, Department of Transportation, unelected. Uh, Louisiana, Texas, like all other states, they have what we call unelected uh, uh, state uh, a state wildlife park, right? Uh, recreation uh, park, shit like that. Uh, human and research, uh, you know, like Texas Human Research uh, Department, they have that. Statewide, you know what I'm saying? They have jurisdiction over the unelected uh, agency. You know what I'm saying? So they have power over them. You know what I'm saying? 
They have power over them right there. They have power over them. Your state the same way like mine. All county, state, charter, parole. I mean, I mean, all county, state court, parole, probation, and state prison. They have jurisdiction over all the state prisons located in, in, in your state. Like Texas, they have jurisdiction over all the court cases. They have jurisdiction over all the appeal case. That's right, where it's local to the statewide. They have jurisdiction over all the from, from right here. See right here at the county, the county court, court office. Everything from there had to transfer to here at the state secretary office in your state capital. Everything had to be transferred right here. From here at the dirty day at the end of the month had to come right here. You can find out by everything from here. If they don't want to give it to you, that state secretary office should have it. Now we're going to go to the U.S. Treasury. reason why I put the U.S. Treasury right here, your county, your state secretary office, at the end of the month, have to what? Get all the information to who? The U.S. Treasury. And the U.S. Treasury is what? Here you go. It's the what? Alien property custodian general power and duty aka they the guardian and the gatekeeper of the what u.s constitution of article 4 section 1 section 2 and section 4 the reason why i said article 4 article 4 required that all all uh clerk these people are clerk the u.s treasurer is a clerk your state secretary office is a clerk. Your uh, county clerk is a clerk. Article 4 is a clerk. If you don't understand how that works, Article 4 is a clerk. They are the record of everything located in their jurisdiction. They are the record. They are the gatekeeper of record. It's like you get arrested, there better be uh, a, a record of that. Fingerprint mugshot at that county clerk office, it better be there or not. Now, that go back to U.S. Treasury. Here we go, U.S. Treasury. Here you go, again, D. Ricard Morgan Carvel office, right? Before you had what we call the Library of Congress, but, but everything still go right here at the end of the month from state, from all your state secretary office. Here you go, they have jurisdiction over what? All federal revenue, all federal court case that ch charge a person with a federal law keep all record of all federal penalty and fine in federal court. Now that go back to what I just said. They have jurisdiction. They have jurisdiction over what? All federal revenue. When you go to the county court or the state court, when you go to the federal court, the court of revenue. Every statute law based on revenue is revenue. That's the reason why when you get arrested, get fingerprint, it's revenue. When you get fined or get a lien, it's revenue. You better look at that like that. It's a revenue. Cause remember that when, you, when your state passes a state legislation law, it becomes revenue. Even though it becomes a law, say like gun, uh, freedom of speech, bullshit, all that stuff, that's revenue. Even though you might not see it like that, but those who got eyes, they can see. Those who got ear can hear it. Those who could, you know, those who got tongue can speak it correctly. I have all that. Here we go. Again. All federal revenue. All federal court case that charge, like charge you with a weapon, charge you with terrorism, charge you with border crossing. You know what I'm saying? Charge you with human trafficking on the federal side. See let me, you know what I'm saying? They charge you with all that tax invasion. Again, these are all federal revenue. That cool state revenue too. Murder is revenue. Uh gang bang in the state is revenue. Jaywalking, open violence in the city where it's local law is revenue. It is revenue. Always think of that. Alright, here we go. Keep all record of what? Federal a federal penalty and fine in what? Federal court. Always remember that. They have to keep record. All this goes back to who? The U.S. Treasury Office. 
Not the U.S. Treasury Puerto Rico offer. I don't care about that. I don't care about the IRS 1099 lien, accepted for value, all that crazy stuff. I don't do none of that stuff. Forget that accepted for value. Forget that, uh, you know, I point you as a trustee and all that stuff. Man, you know, that's a better way to do that. It's much easier to do it with a motion to dismiss. You know what I'm saying? And, and with a discovery. You got to be common, you know what I'm saying? You got to have common sense to do this correctly. And here we go. Department of Justice win a court case in federal court and the other party must pay. You see, now when the federal department, aka the uh, Department of Justice win a case against you, where it's a, a, a federal crime, um, you know what I'm saying? Anything that harms the federal government, they charge you in that court and you have to pay restitution and you have to pay with uh, anything you, you you have valuable. All this go back to who? The Treasury Department. Now what happened if Treasury Department don't have these so-called uh, thing? You could go back and appeal that. You see what I'm saying? You could go back and appeal. I'm not sure how the appeal court work against these people. And here you go again. Department win a court case in federal court and the other party must pay million to the Fed aka the U.S. Treasury Department. I always remember that when you lose a case in the federal uh, a tax invasion and shit like that uh, running a racket till like RICO you know what I'm saying? All that have to be what? Report right back to this guy right here or her whoever's sitting in that office. You have to be reported back to that person. And you always get a receipt on that. That's right. That's right. Now, what your federal clerk office, your federal district courthouse got a clerk. They have to recall every day, send it back to this people right here. You see what I'm saying? Y'all worry about IRS. Fuck IRS. Y'all worry about goddamn uh, Puerto Rico truck or the Vatican. You know what I'm saying? All them crazy ass shit. Y'all worrying about all them stupid ass 1099 OID when you can be going right here, right here, on the federal side, right here, right here, right here. Again, Donald Trump was right, man. Donald Trump gonna clean all this mess up, man. Donald Trump gonna clean all this mess up. And guess what? He's still the president, but he's the war president right now. You see what I'm saying? And by the way, I'm a citizen of the United States American Republican based out of Chicago. That's right. The president is Christopher Bay. My president is Christopher Bay out of Chicago. And I make no, no bones about that. And I'm a citizen. All right, here we go. Department win court case in federal court. And other party have to pay. Whether they do time in jail or they pay the fine out of the table. You see what I'm saying? You get what? Everything go back to what? The U.S. Trash Department. And here we go. When you get, here you go, when you get arrested and charged by the FBI ATF, again, here you go, when you get charged by the uh, ATF, Department of Justice, IRS, you know what I'm saying, such, such, uh, it all bring, let me see, it all had to be reported to the U.S. Treasury. Remember that. The federal clerk had to report this to the U.S. Treasury. The U.S. Treasury report this to who? To the, you know, you know what I'm saying, report the profit to who? To the, you know what I'm saying, to the, uh, to the U.S. Congress. That's right. No word, look. From the arrest, conviction, to fine, from the federal district court where you at, everything has to be reported back to the U.S. Treasury, and the U.S. Treasury got to report back to who? To the... U.S. Congress. Again, that goes back right here because my phone going to be uh, shut down. County clerk, court, office in your area have to report to the state secretary office like Texas, secretary of state, and then state secretary office got to take all these things that they have from the local area and statewide and report it to who? To the U.S. Treasury. And the U.S. Treasury got to report this to who? To the goddamn U.S. Congress on both sides. The House and the Senate, so they gotta refund what what was done in their area. 
always remember that, yeah? And I can tell you how to get people out of state jail. It's simple. I can tell you how to do a motion to dismiss the case. You know what I'm saying? Can't, you know what I'm saying? Can't go in that chance stupid ass jurisdiction with your nationality, all that stuff. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got to go back to the old law. You know what I'm saying? Who made the case first? I mean, you know, who made the law first become the law of the land? You know what I'm saying? Who made the law become the law of the land forever? You know what I'm saying? So, your old constitution is your best remedy. Not the today constitution you see in your state. No, go back to your old state constitution. Trust me, you'll win on your old state constitution because the burden proof is on the prosecutor. The burden proof is on them. Now, like I said, people could get out of state prison from right here. Not from right here. Not from right here. People, people that's locked up in state jail, they can get out right here. People that's locked up in federal prison, right here again. I hate to say that. Even though it's federal prison, but the question is, where did they get arrested in the county and in the state? You see right here, you get somebody out of state prison and federal prison. I know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's right here, not the Puerto Rico, not the Washington, D.C., not the Vatican, not all that crazy that shit, not the IRS, not the UCC-1, not the UCC-3, not none of that crazy that shit. You go right here, get somebody out of state jail. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can remove the felony record from right here where it happened at. The felony record, no, but you got felony on you, you can remove from right here. You see what I'm saying? You go back to the county where the rest happened at, where the jurisdiction original happened at. Right here, you stop the IRS lane right here. Right here. Now this is part two, part three coming. And I'm gonna smoke this shit good for y'all. Peace out.